saddle company has trucked in a whole new line of saddles and tack. They're on display behind the corral, so be sure to take a look before you leave the area. Uh, uh, Mr. Long. Mr. Long. Yes, yes. I I'm Jack McGee. I'm a reporter from the National Register. Well, welcome to Gaston, Mr. McGee. I hope you enjoy the rodeo. Uh, thanks. Listen, uh, one of your cowboys reported that he saw the Hulk while he was hitchhiking into town. Hulk? I don't know anything about the Hulk. Our two-headed calf died last week. I have a picture in my office. Uh, th thanks, thanks. I, uh, I'm checking out a story on a transit. I'm looking into any place that he might feel safe taking a job. Do you have a photo? Well, no, no, but, uh, but I can give you a description. It's, uh... Medium height, medium build, brown hair, brown eyes. That's it? Uh, yeah. You just described half the men that work here. Sorry. L listen, you don't mind if I take a look around? Not at all. Help yourself. Like I said, I hope you enjoy the rodeo. Thanks. OK, folks, we're getting to the highlight of the Gaston, Texas rodeo, the Bramber Bull Ride. Some of the top cowboys in the Southwest pit their strength and endurance against the toughest and meanest animals this side of Hades. 1,600 pounds of pure fury. First out of the shoot today, riding whirlwind is Terry McCluggy. Hang on there, Terry. Did uh, Mr. Long pull Jake out of the rodeo? No. So what am I supposed to do, just stand here and watch him die? David, the bull ride is the toughest event in this damn rodeo. And after what you told me about Jake's condition, he shouldn't be out there. Now, can't you talk to him? Maggie, I've tried. David, he drew killer instinct. He's the meanest bull on the circuit. I mean, if he was drowning, we wouldn't just be standing here. All right, I'll tell you what I want you to do. You take that medical report that you showed to me, get it to the paramedics and tell them to call the hospital. That's in case, just in case anything goes wrong. They'll be prepared for instant diagnosis and treatment. David, is there any chance that he's going to be all right? Yes, there is. But right now, you've got to get that report to him, OK? I'll talk to Jake and see whatever I can do. Come on, come on. Coming up next is Jake White from Taos, New Mexico. Now, Jake's a man who's really worthy of your applause, ladies and gentlemen. A 21 year veteran of rodeo events, one of the oldest men in a sport that challenges the youngest and strongest. Right now, Jake is near the top of the list for all around cowboy honors, having distinguished himself in all the other rodeo events. If Jake can get a good ride here now, it'll put him over the top in points and well into the big prize money of $100,000. Jake's got his work cut out for him, though. He's riding Killer Instinct, one of the meanest animals on the circuit. Killer Instinct has only been ridden once out of the last 15 tries, and he sends seven boys to the hospital. Hey, hold it, guys. Listen, I've got to talk to Jake. Now, you ain't so tough without your big green friend. I love those clowns. <laughs>
Will somebody tell me what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Looks like old Killer Instinct's had enough. Smart animal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not one of our regularly scheduled events. Somebody call security pronto. Do not leave your seats, please, ladies and gentlemen. Stay in your seats. <laughs>